Howdy folks, my name is Cole from Dixie RV out of Hammond, Louisiana and today we're going to be talking about the Alpine 3661FL. We can first start out by talking about the four front fiberglass front cap along this unit. It does have the nice Alpine decal along the side. Uh, if you look along here, you are solar prepped, which means that you can hook up a solar panel and charge your batteries at the same time. You are going to have a solid step staircase right along the outside of the door. Uh, an automatic awning with an LED light strip along the whole side of the awning. Uh, this is a higher end camper, so you are going to have your seamless windows that kind of add that extra oomph look to your camper. Just makes it look a little cooler. You do have a six point auto level system with hydraulic jacks along this unit right here. You are going to have some extended cargo space. along the back end of the camper right here. You do have easy access to your roof with your back ladder right here and you are backup camera prep. You do have a little hitch to tow something behind it. This is the other side to that back cargo storage. This is going to be a universal docking station where you can actually kind of unscrew this little bottom piece right here, pass all your wires and everything through so that way you can still lock it and slam it closed whenever you're done. Another cool feature that this camper comes with is your aluminum rims. Uh, and up here is going to be your auto level hookup where you have a button. It's one touch auto level so you just press auto level and it starts to level itself. And it also has a feature where if you hold the left and right buttons down at the same time it will actually return your camper to the hitch height that it was in. Uh, you do have two 30 pound LP tanks. Now that we kind of covered the outside, let's take a look at the inside. Alrighty folks, now that we're on the inside of the Alpine 3661FL, uh, we can start off in the living room where we have these two theater seating recliners that both recline on each side, directly opposite of your TV that is on a swivel mounting bracket. Uh, your radio system and your sound system is all above it right here above the TV. You do have a fireplace and a rock wall kind of theme kind of going with the wood mix. On each side of the living room, you do have two couches that both pop out into beds. As you walk down into the kitchen of the actual unit, you do have your residential style fridge, dual sinks. One of them is a little bigger, one of them is a little shorter. You can do wash meat, wash dishes at the same time. Both of these covers, by the way, are cutting boards. I thought that was pretty cool. And then you do have a convection microwave, which is residential size, along with your upgraded cooktop and oven. Huge pantry, tons of cabinetry with special designs and such to kind of make it look a little more modern than just regular camper. And your dining room table right here also does pop out into a little extra foot or so, whatever you need for whenever you're eating. You're going to have four chairs with this table, then just come to. And along with your convection microwave and upgraded stovetop covers and everything and your dual dishes and with the swivel head, you also have a dishwasher that comes along with this camper right here. It's already installed. The thermometer and a few different controls are right here for turning on all pipe. You do have a wardrobe slide alongside the front part of your bed. There's those other two chairs along with your washer dryer prep. Along your uh, bedroom, you do have an extra closet space along with that one this back there if you choose to use it as such. Behind the door you have another closet. Plenty of cabinetry, another TV inside the bedroom, and a queen size bed that stays pretty freaking cool because you do have quiet air system in here. Alright, finally let's talk about the bathroom right here. If you look inside your bathroom, you do have your toilet not directly opposite from your cabinetry, so you don't have to worry about your knees bumping and everything. But you do have a linen closet, a little sink with a medicine cabinet right above it, your door or your tri slide doors into the shower that also has a relaxing little seat if you don't like standing up or you feel a little woozy when you get inside a shower or wet floor. Alrighty folks, I want to thank you for coming on this virtual tour with me. Uh, but again, my name is Cole Laverne with Dixie RV out of Hammond, Louisiana. We did go over the Alpine 3661FL. Uh, if you have any questions at all, my contact information will be at the bottom. And again, this is Cole from Dixie RV, hoping you retire one weekend at a time.